in one tribute to Robert Burns, uh, a writer said, he speaks to Scots, he speaks to Ah, and indeed he does. Uh, on Burns Night, there are celebrations not just in Scotland, but in Russia, in China and Japan, not just across the English-speaking world, but right across the world, uh, Robert Burns is enjoyed uh, and, and celebrated. But I think there's a particular affinity between Ulster and Scotland, because the language of Burns' poetry, the Scots language, is just the sister language to the language of Ulster Scots. So the, the words in Burns that people in other countries would have difficulty understanding are perfectly comprehensible to an Ulster Scot. One writer pointed out that in times gone by, in many Ulster homes, there were just two books, Burns and the Bible. And the thing that was noticeable about Burns was the entire book would be thumbed but when you got to the glossary at the back, it was untouched because people didn't need to look up the words, they knew them. And within the Ulster Scots tradition, there is an important place for Burns. The first Burns Club in Ulster was formed in Belfast in 1872, reconstituted in 1886, and still surviving today, the Belfast Burns Association. But in the past, there were Burns Clubs in Larne, in Londonderry, and other places. That affection for him has been a feature of culture life here down through the years. When Chapman Billy's leave the street and Druthy neighbours neighbours meet, as we sit boozing it and happy getting foo and Uncle Happy, we think the why the Lang Scots miles, the mosses, water, slaps and styles that lie between us and our home, where sits our sulky sullen dame, gearing our brews like a gearing strong, and nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth fond honest Thomas Shanter, as he the air united canter, all there when her tunes are passes. For honest men and bony lassies. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like a melody that's sweetly played in June. We've opened our doors here today to bring people in to show them a bit about the Ulster Scots culture. Our whole aim is to support communities involved in Ulster Scots, but also to make Ulster Scots more accessible to the wider community and to help people to understand where they've come from and where the culture has developed from and to continue to um, show it in a more contemporary setting. It's a good start uh, to the week and uh, I'm sure we'll be able to enjoy some of the haggis. We'll certainly enjoy the music and the dance as well. It's a very enjoyable start. <laughs>